Clark Kent and Lois Lane? Who knew? I did. Do you believe in fate, Lois? I think fate has brought us together. I guess I'm a sucker for stray dogs and naked guys. Lois and Clark would be great together. With Smallville? Yeah, you and Lois. Lois? There is nothing romantic between Lois and Clark. Do you always have to finish people's thoughts? Well, am I right? Clark Kent. That bumbling tadpole is not my Prince Charming. She's bossy. My dad raised me to be independent and self-sufficient. That'd be one way to describe you. Keep your mouth shut and listen. Lois and Clark. No one will believe it, Lois, not even for a second. Clark Kent, will you marry me? Lois and I are... We're getting married. <laughs> Congratulations. Lois and Clark? <laughs> Lois? Us. That's like hot fudge and halibut. Look, there are a lot of good things about you that would attract a lot of great guys. Really? Like what? Oh, you... Are you Lois? You're amazing, Smallville. You always look for the best in people, even when they walk all over you. I guess that explains why we're friends. Oh, we're friends now? Well, I won't tell anyone if you don't. You didn't have to come after me, but you always do. So I wanted to say thank you. You're a really good friend. You're a good friend, Lois. She's stuck up, she's rude. He's annoying. I think we should call him Clark. Well, excuse me, mister. I'm slow and steady and know what's best for everyone. This happens to be important to me. Don't you think you'd be a little less dramatic with this whole thing? You could be a little more passionate with this whole thing. It's really nice to see the Lois has found someone who can overlook her personality. Don't worry about it, Clark. You know, I mean, if I lived under the same roof with such a beautiful woman, I probably would have masked my feelings in sarcasm, too. There's nothing that I love more than slow dancing with some big, strong arms around me. Just like yours, Lowell. Feelings. Feelings? Clark, you've had feelings for Lois since, like, the 1930s. I can't stand her. Clark doesn't like me. He likes driving me crazy. The best ones always start that way. Flirtation 101, Lane. I mean, that's what a guy does when he's into a girl. <laughs> yeah, right. Really? I know. Isn't that sweet? <clears throat> Lois, what's going on? I don't know. How much time have you two been spending together? Too, Too much. much. I told you how much I'm going to miss you. <sighs> Clark. I know how devastated you must be, but if you could just keep your tears to a minimum, I'd appreciate it. I'll try. But don't worry. I'll visit. Is that a promise or a threat? And then when I went away last fall, I... Plus, I felt so lost. Oh, 
because I died when you left. Maybe I can't completely stay away. No. Wes? Wes! Come on! Don't leave me! This is embarrassing to admit. I don't want to be alone. You're not alone. Unless I promise someday you'll meet someone even more special. See, what worries me is that when my Jonathan finally does come around, I'll be looking the other way and I'll miss him completely. You're safe now, Los. I'm here. You saved me. Clark and Lois versus the world. How can a guy miss what's been right in front of him all this time? How can someone with X-ray vision be so blind? Lois, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, last time I checked, you were missing a few prerequisites for being in here. So you have been checking me out. You might be right. What'd you say? What? What? What if my soulmate comes along and I'm too blind to see it? You have to keep a closer watch. Mom, I can't imagine ever loving anyone else. I'm just having all these feelings and I don't know what they mean. Small though. It's like I was going along and it just snuck up on me. Lois. Hey, Smallville. Why should I think I'm special? It's because you are special. And I try to ignore it, but then there are these moments that you can't. I've seen the way you two look at each other. about how you feel. You're saying that I want to kiss Lois. I thought... Clark. just for a minute... Clark. someone needed me. Why, when I pulled that blue dagger out of your chest, you... you healed. You did that? You didn't just heal me, you brought me back. You saved me. Sometimes even a hero is guardian angel Clark. When I came back to the bullpen, you were there waiting for me. You jumped out of your seat. Clark Kent, you're back. You threw your arms around me, and the way that your eyes sparkled when you smiled, I just... I knew. Must have really missed me. Oh. Uh. I didn't even notice you were gone. Missed you too, Lois. I just knew that you were the one that I've always needed. And I needed you to know that. Who's the Prince Charming? I never thought I'd say this out loud, but... 
Kent. I think we make a pretty good team. Yeah, we do. Clark, what happened? We made it. Lois? After everything that happened, after Ollie and I almost got killed, guess who they decided to go with first? Lois. I'm sorry. I never should have tried out in the first place or dragged you there with me, and I just... 